In this video, I'm going to show you mixing program drums in Reap. So I have a project in front of me here with some programmed drums, along with some stems for guitar and vocals. We have a kick, finger snaps, claps, shaker, tambourine, whip, snare, hi-hat, and splash for crashes. And right now, all the program drums are completely dry. Let's hear what it sounds like. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me somehow. I play me. My mama said that's just the way to. As you can tell, it sounds pretty flat, as none of the drums have any reverb or delay on them. Now, typically, when using samples, they tend to be processed already, so they won't need so much compression or EQ, but we're still going to use a bit. But let's start off with the kick. Let's solo it and hear it. Like I said, it's already processed a bit, but let's compress it a bit more. So it sits above the mix. Go to the track effects, and let's add a compressor. And I'll use Reacomp, because it's a compressor that comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. And it's also really good for programmed drums. I'll start off turning on auto makeup gain. We'll use four to one. We'll bring down the threshold to give the kick more presence. Right about there feels good. I'm not going to add any delay or reverb to the kick because I want it to sound pretty dry. But let's move on to the finger snaps. And notice I put the tracks in the order in which they come in to the song. I like to do that ahead of time when I'm mixing tracks so I can hear the arrangement in the order of the tracks I'm working on. Let's solo the finger snaps. Let's add some reverb to this. Now in this video, we're gonna be using the reverb plugin. Again, because it comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. But reverb requires impulse response files to create reverb, and those don't come with Reaper. So I'm gonna leave a link down below to a free library of IR samples we're gonna use in this video. But I already saved an effects chain for each preset I wanna use. So I'll double click, and I'm going to choose the A plate reverb, which again is an effects chain that I created just using one of those files. And here's the impulse response file being used. Let's hear what it sounds like. Bit too much. Let's hear it in the track. I complicate things. One of my many skills. That feels pretty good. Notice I like to bring in the vocal and the guitar stem pretty often. So I can make sure the effects work with those at all times. It doesn't make much sense to just make it sound good with the kick. Because these tracks are going to be on during the mix. I complicate things. Next, we have the claps. Again, it's pretty dry. But let's first compress this sample. I'll use Rea Comp again, turn on Auto Makeup Gain, and bring down the threshold. 
Feels pretty good right there. Just to bring the claps a bit more forward. Then I want to EQ them a bit using re-EQ again, because re-EQ comes with Reaper. I'm going to bring up some low end to make them sound a bit bigger, as they sound a bit thin right now. Right about 3.5 dB at 330 hertz. Before and after. Now we'll add some reverb to this. Again, I'll go to my effects chains and add the A plate reverb. Just the wet to taste. I also want to add a delay to this. To add some rhythmic repeats, so let's add a delay. But instead of adding the Rhea Delay plugin, I already saved in my effects chain this panning delay, which already has some parameter modulation for panning, left and right. And it's set to eighth notes. And let's hear what it sounds like. We'll put it before the reverb. And notice it's also filtering the top end and the low end. And let's hear what that sounds like in the mix. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they have that sounds more interesting, but I don't like the effect in the pre chorus. So I'm going to go back into here. And let's try a different delay for the pre chorus. I'll copy and paste this. So we have two different versions. Let's turn this one off. And for the second one, let's remove the panning. Right here, which change this from one eighth note to 1.5, which will give it a triplet feel. We'll pan it in the middle. Let's hear what this sounds like. Analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me somehow. I like this better for the pre-chorus, but I like this better for the verse. One of my many skills. I'm making things. So we can automate those effects. Start with the first one, and we'll touch the bypass, go to the menu, and choose show track envelope which shows it right here, and it starts off turned on. Hold down the shift key, create a point right here, bring it up, and now it's bypassed for the pre-chorus. And we'll do the opposite for the other delay. Choose bypass as the last touched parameter, show track envelope, and this one starts off bypassed. Hold down shift to create a point, and move it down here. And now this one starts off bypassed, this one's on, and vice versa for the pre chorus. Let's hide the envelopes, but they're still gonna play. And let's see what happens. Kate, one of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Maybe they hate me somehow. I play me. My mama said, that's I think that's more interesting having different delays and treatment in the verse versus the pre chorus. So let's move on to the shaker, which only comes in in the pre-chorus.
and it sounds very dry. So let's add a reverb to this. I'll go to my effects chains. I already saved one right here. But this one is very short and very stereo. Let's hear it. Let's add another reverb on top. For this, I'm going to choose a drum plate, which is going to play after the other one, which is a bit bigger and will keep it a bit quieter. And blended together, they sound like this in the mix. Analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. And we also have a tambourine in the pre-chorus. Which is pretty dry right now. So let's add a reverb to this. We'll go back to the A plate and adjust the wet for how much we want. Here in the mix. Analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Somehow I play me My mama said That's just the way to the world And on the chorus We have this whip sound Which emphasizes beat 4 Let's make it sound even bigger We'll add another reverb This time I'm going to use a large hall Which is very big Let's hear it sounds in the mix. That's just the way to the world. It's not personal, it's just how it works. Don't be angry for too long, I'll get burned. Cause that's just the Sounds like an explosion, but I really like it for the chorus. Now let's work on the snare. I want it to sound a bit bigger and more in front. So I'll compress it a bit. The same way. Bring some EQ into it. I'll start with some lows, but also some highs. Just to make it sound a bit prettier, but also beefier with more weight. Before and after. I don't think this needs any reverb or delay because I want the snare really close to the listener. That's just the way to the world. It's not personal, it's just how it works. Don't be angry for too long, I'll get burned. I think that sounds pretty good. We didn't do much to it because, like I said, Programmed drums tend to already be pretty processed. Let's hear it from the top. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone. Somehow I'll play me My mama said That's just the way to the world It's not personal, it's just how it works Don't be angry for too long, I'll get burned Cause that's just the way to the world That sounds pretty good to me So that's pretty much it. That's mixing program drums in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go.